Hey everybody, today I wanted to make a video about traveling um, to Canada if you are a permanent resident but your PR card is expired. I get this question very often uh, for different types of cases. So for example, if you're a permanent resident of Canada and you have to urgently travel, let's say to Europe, um, but your PR card has expired, what do you do? Uh, there's some people that they don't realize that they really need the valid PR card in order to return, so they end up traveling outside. And uh, when they try to return to Canada, let's say they're from a country that is visa exempt, they might be able to come back and get on the plane. But if you are from a country that needs a visa, you could get into a lot of uh, complicated situations such as not being able to get on the flight or getting delayed at the airport or being able to come back to Canada but then being questioned at the airport and maybe being issued some documents or uh, warnings that you wouldn't uh, want to have which would cause red flags to your immigration history. So if you are a permanent resident of Canada, it is very important to always, in all cases in general, to have a valid PR card. That means that every five years, if you're not a citizen, you have to renew, you should renew your PR card if, of course, you meet the residency requirement. If you have to travel, in order to come back to Canada, you need to have a valid PR card. That demonstrates that you are a permanent resident of Canada. So the PR card is really, uh, the PR card doesn't give you permanent resident status. It's your confirmation of permanent residence that gives you uh, permanent um, resident status. And the fact that that status hasn't been removed by a negative um, decision by an officer or a tribunal in Canada. Uh, but the PR card is uh, essentially for traveling back to Canada. Um, so if you have to travel urgently and you don't have your PR card, it's expired or you renewed it and you're waiting, what you're gonna have to do is apply for what's called a travel document at the embassy outside of Canada. Uh, this is a document that's issued to permanent residents who have an expired PR card, have lost their PR card, or are waiting for a decision on their PR card. It's an application with forms and supporting documents, and it could get complicated because it is an, a document issued on an emergency basis, but sometimes it could take a couple of weeks or sometimes even months to get that document. So if you're going, let's say, to Europe for 10 days, and you get there and you're going to apply for a travel document, it, it, it could be that if you explain it properly and you put urgent, I need to come back to Canada, I need to go back to my job and I was only here urgently, the embassy could issue that travel document to you for in a few days. But if the embassy, depending on the country that you're applying to, there's a lot of backlogs and delays, then it could take a couple of weeks uh, for them to, to, to review and, and issue the travel document. And, that can be problematic because then you're you're stuck outside. Um, so my recommendation is always to renew. If um, you renewed your card and now you're traveling, it's going to be important for you to have evidence that your PR card is in the process of getting renewed. So a copy of your uh, applic the fee that you've paid or the documents that you submitted or the tracking number of the courier package that you submitted. That way, if you do have to apply for a, a travel document, then uh, you can show that, you can put a copy of that evidence in the application to show, look, I've actually taken care of my immigration um, matters, I've, I've, I've renewed my, I'm, I'm in the process of renewing my PR card. Now, if you are traveling to the United States, uh, you can travel back to Canada uh, without your PR card if you're coming by car or by bus. Um, the PR card is really necessary when you're flying by plane, but when you're coming by land from the United States, if you're coming in a vehicle, you are allowed to cross with your landing. Ideally, you should have your PR card because it's just it makes it every, makes everything simpler. But if you absolutely do not have it, then if you have your confirmation of permanent residence, which is the document you were issued uh, when you became a permanent resident, back in the day it was called a landing document, now it's called a confirmation of permanent residence. If you have that document and you're by car, then you can show that to the officer. Also, always recommend it to have evidence that you have renewed uh, your PR card. With that, the officer should be able to let you in. Now, they could ask you some questions just to make sure that you still meet the residency requirement, which is currently is two years out of five, so you could be questioned. So it's also important to have perhaps an Excel sheet with all your travel dates or evidence that you, you've been living in Canada. Um, 
so that is a possibility if you're coming uh, by land so my recommendation is if you're traveling always make sure you review immigration rules and regulations about uh, traveling uh, with or without a PR card, what the timelines are, if you have to urgently apply for a travel document, if you've applied for the renewal of your card, make sure you have evidence of that on you um, because it's going to make your, your travels much easier. Um, especially if you don't have your PR card and you come back, the officer could interpret that as, oh, you're coming as a visitor, you're not coming as a permanent resident. Especially if you've traveled a lot and you don't have evidence that you have lived in Canada, then they could issue you a removal order, which you can have to file an appeal and it could take a year or two to go to court. And it could be seen as not caring so much about your permanent resident status, um, not updating your documents um, and just saying, oh, well, you're, you know, you don't seem to be a permanent resident. So we're going to indicate that you're a visitor and, oh, do you want to renounce to your uh, permanent resident status? A lot of issues like this can happen at the border and it could be uh, avoided if you're well prepared. Thank you for listening.